Metway. She was a student at Aikido of San Francisco. And again, I share all these voices in hopes that you may find your own doorway to the infinite or whatever you seek. Happy to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. I love that question. What are we buying? Well, we're buying energetic wisdom, I would probably say. Um, I really fuse Aikido, the martial arts practice, with meditation, the sitting practice. And I feel like it's kind of the other side of the coin. And so the stillness in meditation can be found through overtime practice. And the same thing with Aikido is it really is a reality testing with, oh, you think you have found your great stillness and center in meditation, but when you actually get on a mat and you work with someone that's rigid or pushing back or muscling you down or trying to be domineering or aggressive, that it doesn't stir up all sorts of reactions in your system to do something about it. It's a tricky question to answer, the energetic realm, only because when we begin to put too many words into it, uh, it, it can become possibly sabotage when it would be, it would be uh, a felt sense, a felt sense that uh, comes from inside and out. And when I speak about the energetic realm, it's, you know, we forget that everything around us is made up of energy. We don't necessarily see that because it's not obvious. What we actually see is the physicality of it through our senses, you know, sight, sound, taste. And if it's not within that parameter, then we feel like it either does not exist or is in our own imagination or is a fantasy. And the truth of it is, is energy is such that it's not so obvious and yet it perpetuates and facilitates and operates all of this around us, life as we know it.